Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to edit meta fields on the product page on Shopify. Now, most of you guys just getting started with Shopify are probably scrolling around on your product page and you're wondering what is this materials, shipping and returns, dimensions, care instructions? How do I edit these little drop downs that are on my product pages? Because on the product page editor, it seems like there's nowhere to edit this, right? You click around and you're like, what are these drop downs? What, what am I supposed to do with this? I, I, I I can't edit it, right? That's what I'm gonna be showing you how to in today's video, as well as how to create your own custom ones if that's what you're interested in doing. As you can see here, I have edited the materials one with some quick little materials there. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to add your own custom ones as well as how to make them either static, so they're the same on every page. Maybe, for example, on the shipping and returns, you just have one little default boilerplate text that you just wanna repeat on every single product page. I'm showing you how to do that as well as how to create your own custom ones with the meta fields on Shopify to create custom ones so that it's different on every product page because a lot of products have different types of materials that are used. Uh, same with the care instructions maybe or even especially the dimensions are gonna likely be different on most products. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you how to do in today's video. And if you don't already have a Shopify store, I do wanna mention again, you can check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. That will take you right over to a Shopify free trial. Again, if you don't, already have a Shopify store, you can check out that first link down in the description box below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So you're going to want to make sure, of course, that you are logged in to your Shopify store. Next, you're going to come over here to the product section and you click on any given product. Now I have already edited the meta fields for this gold Rolex watch. So you will, so you'll see here, I already have a meta field created for materials. Now by default, most of you guys, if you haven't edited the meta fields at all, or you, you're stuck and you don't know what to do um, to, to edit these drop downs, you won't see anything here, um, but that's fine. You will still see the meta fields tag here. So all you have to do is click show all then that will take you over to this section here, meta fields with a definition. Now, by default, again, there won't be any meta fields created, so we have to go in and actually create these meta fields for them to start appearing. So what we're gonna do is, since we already have the materials one, which is one that you would likely want to be dynamic, as in dynamic means that it changes on every different product that you're editing. We're also gonna make the dimensions one, one that's dynamic, one that changes on every different product because every product has different dimensions. We'll be creating the static ones, such as shipping and returns and care instructions. We'll keep those two, or maybe just the shipping and returns one even, just as the static one that stays constant across every different product page. So we'll be doing that next. First, the dynamic ones, which I know a lot of you guys want the dynamic ones. So materials is already created. Then all you have to do is click here on view View definition settings that will bring up this editor here then all we have to do is click add definition and we're gonna add the name the meta field definition the name so we're gonna call this one dimensions dimensions and once we've typed that in we we'll click that and then we're going to uh, have the namespace and key is going to be custom dot dimensions. Uh, we'll leave that the same there. And then selecting, uh, we probably don't have to add a description, uh, selecting the type, we're gonna make this, you can either make it a single line text or a multi-line text. This is if you want it to show multiple lines of text. You know, most people probably want multiple line text, so we're gonna select that. Uh, you can do single line as well, but we'll just go with multi-line text. And there we go, dimensions, custom dot dimensions, and multi-line text. And then we're just gonna go ahead and click save. And then that, as you can see here, has been added, the dimensions section. So next what we need to do is then we need to add that dimensions meta field in the product page editor. So we're gonna exit out of here. And then we're gonna click on online store. Then next, we're gonna come over here to customize. Then we're gonna click the drop down up here. We're gonna select products and we're gonna select default product. Then we're gonna scroll down here to the section with the drop downs. Now, of course, like I mentioned, you can add your own custom ones in here too. Uh, if you're interested in adding more collapsible rows, 
uh, you can do that as well. But once you select uh, whichever one that you select, as you can see, I clicked on materials. We already have the materials row uh, content selected. So we're going to go down to dimensions since that's the one that we just created from scratch. Then once you have clicked on the dimensions collapsible row, then you click on the insert dynamic source since this is a dynamic source. And then we just go to scroll down and we'll see dimensions. As you can see here, product main page dimensions. So you may need to click on show more if it doesn't appear there, um, but it should show up here for dimensions, multi-line text. We're going to select dimensions and then that's it. That's all we have to edit here um, since that content will be dynamically added. So now we've got dimensions here in the collapsible row. Again, if you do want to create your own custom ones, uh, all you have to do is go over here to add the blocks for other drop downs. So you can create other collapsible rows. Uh, if you want to create, uh, as you can see here, you can add additional collapsible rows. See, as you can see here, and then you just go through the same step-by-step -step process that I'm showing you now, if you want to create some of your own custom ones, for example, you have a bunch of different other icons. Maybe you're a different type of company where you need like water bottles or something like that. Um, or you need to show other information about your product. Maybe it's like, some sort of health type product and you have a uh, specific information that you want to show maybe if it's a t-shirt maybe you show like uh, shirt instructions or something like that uh, there's a bunch of other cool little icons that shopify has that you can easily uh, add in to maybe washing instructions for a t-shirt or something like that so there's a bunch of other type of little uh, icons and, and dynamic content that you could create uh, if you wish so we're going to go ahead and click save uh, so we already have the dimensions one selected and now next we're going to, of course, once it saves, then we're going to exit out of here. Then we're going to go back to the specific product that we're adding the dimensions to. So we're going to go back to the 18 karat gold Rolex watch. We scroll all the way down to the bottom and now you should see under the meta field section, you'll see dimensions and materials. Like I said, we already have the materials entered here. We're going to add in the dimensions. So all you have to do is click here and the dimensions. We're going to say it's uh, 23 uh, by 14, something like that. And we're going to add, uh, maybe that's for the watch band. And then uh, the other dimensions is, uh, I, I have no, honestly no clue the size of like a watch uh, head or something like that, uh, or the watch face, I guess that's the proper term, the watch band and the watch face. So we'll save that as the uh, dimensions. Now it will kind of like put it all in a line, but it will show up based on how you entered it here uh, with the multiple line text uh, as you hit enter. You could even uh, add in like little, um, dashes if you want it to kind of look almost like bullet points you could do that too um, we're gonna go ahead and click save and now it will have the dimensions uh, meta field saved for this specific product so we go here we're gonna refresh the gold Rolex watch as you can see we even have the collapse the other collapsible row that we added uh, and then now under dimensions you have the specific dimensions for that product based on the meta fields that you edited here uh, for this product. Now, this will be different depending on the product page that you go to because this is a, again, a, a dynamic source. So you have the materials and you have the dimensions here. If we go to any other watch page on the store, we refresh it. As you can see, we still have the collapsible row there added um, on every product page, but you go to materials, there's nothing there because we haven't added the materials or dimensions to this specific product in the product page editor uh, in Shopify under products and editing that given product. So this is how you create the dynamic ones. Now, if you want to create the static ones, it's honestly a t it's honestly a lot easier. You don't even need to use the meta fields in order to create ones that are, are the same across every page. So we're gonna do that now just to show you how to do it. But this is how you do the meta fields. Again, you can edit these any which way you like, customize them however you want to show different drop down details on your product pages on Shopify, which is really great it makes your store just look a lot more professional and you have a lot more information that you can add under these drop downs especially given that these are by default added by shopify and it's like oh how do i edit these i don't know <laughs> so um next we're going to add the static ones 
Uh, so we're gonna go back to Shopify, of course, then we go to online store. We go to customize, basically going right back to where we were on the drop down. So we go up to the top here, we go to products, click default product. Then we're gonna scroll down here to the collapsible row. So we're gonna make the shipping and returns one the same across every page. So we're gonna say 100, I don't know, 100% uh, <laughs> uh, or maybe, maybe we just do like free shipping on all uh, free uh, shipping on all orders, free shipping on all orders, um, free returns, basically make our customers love us, right? Please, <laughs> please buy. We have free shipping and free returns. <laughs> so free shipping on all orders, uh, free returns. So we'll, we'll put that uh, information there as the content. Uh, since this is going to be duplicated across all the pages and then we just click save uh, And then we go back to the product page we refresh it And then underneath the drop downs as you can see here We have free shipping on all orders free returns We still have the materials and the dimensions added but now we have free shipping on all orders free returns We go over to another product page. We refresh that and Then you come down here to shipping and returns and as you can see it is now static and added to every single product page that has the, you know, the shipping and returns little drop down is on every product page. So you're going to see that uh, duplicated everywhere, which is really nice if you just want to add some uh, basic text that's repeated across every page under that little drop down. Since your shipping and returns policy is probably not going to change, you could also link out to your specific um, shipping policy page. So if you go to like copy your your shipping policy page, you could also uh, edit this and um, maybe read more on our shipping policy page and then you could just highlight the text here and insert a link to the uh, shipping policy so as you can see here link uh, shipping policy you could also open it in a new window if you want um, so we're gonna go ahead and click insert and then now we have that text that should open in a new window as well so if you want to add like a link out to any other pages on your store you can do that there as well uh, see as you can see your free shipping on all orders free returns read more on our shipping policy page and then that will take people to the shipping policy page so that's how you do it that's how you add the static ones and the dynamic ones with the meta fields on Shopify for your product pages. Now there's a lot of other applications for meta fields and custom fields on Shopify. This is just one of the most common scenarios and examples where, hey, they add these drop downs. How do I edit these? Well, this is how you do it. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, why are you watching this video? Uh, but you can go ahead and get a free trial. You can check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. That will take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We're gonna start with Shopify for free today. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. Guys, I hope you found this video tutorial helpful on how to add those meta fields to your product pages on Shopify and edit the little drop downs for the materials, shipping and returns, dimensions, care instructions, how to make them static or dynamic so that they are custom and change on every single product that you have. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.